Hey guys, Kuba's here. Welcome back to my channel. And next up on Meeting the Artist, we have Myla with the song Flood. Unfortunately, I was not able to interview her at the studio, but I have had a Zoom call with her. So I hope you will enjoy that. I really wanted to cover all of the artists because they all deserve to shine, even if it's through a computer screen. So enjoy the interview. Let's see how she responded to your questions. I feel excited and also kind of relieved that it's uh, almost over because it was obviously quite a ride. Um, I really put in all that I could. So it was stressful at times and uh, all that. So I kind of feel like it's good that it's going to be over and, you know, clarified and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got many. Um, lots of people, I got both great and bad ones the way, the way it is. <laughs> but uh, mostly a lot of actually good ones. Um, a lot of people commenting me even like privately that they love the song. A lot of comments on my YouTube channel, uh, on Instagram. Obviously, there's also been a lot of people picking up on the song through like YouTube, creating like reaction videos and stuff. So yeah, it's been there's been a lot, and uh, I also realized like there's like a strong Eurovision fan fandom, you know, like a lot of people who really stand or not. So that was a really interesting thing to to discover and experience. Yeah. Losing control. Um, I mean, many things. I mean, most importantly, I think it's still kind of um, always be you because whatever happens and whatever people think and whoever you're being compared to and stuff, uh, the most, most importantly, it's to stay true to yourself and to your values because um, that's all you have. And I think that really, I really realized that because obviously this is a competition and I'm not used to um, music in a competitive way that much. So this kind of really made me you know, and I had a lot of things that I had to sort out in my own self to be like, no, at the end of the day, it's still, you know, music isn't a competition and uh, you just have to kind of go through it yourself and believe in yourself always, so. Yeah, so uh, I've obviously found out about Eurovision the most mainstream way possibly anyone could through ABBA because I love ABBA and then I found out about them and their performance so I kind of paid a little bit more attention to it. I loved Sweden's entry last year. I think it was one of the, my favorite ones I've ever, like her voice is insane. The song is beautiful. Um, obviously I liked a lot. Some of the Czech ones were great. Like I really like Lick Blauby as well. Um, I think they have a sick song or... Um, Miklash was great as well. <laughs> Maniskin was obviously another very uh, commercial one, but honestly, it blew everyone away, I think. But I think Sweden's performance last year was the one that touched me the most. And uh, yeah. It's right to so Flood wasn't at all uh, a plan to be on, on, on your vision. Like I wrote it and when I was uh, signing up my songs for this, I just kind of put it there last minute because it was a complete demo, like it was unproduced. And I was like, why not? Let's just throw it in. I did also sign up with Turu Turu Turu. I did. I sent it there. But the but the Eurovision committee over here, they actually chose the demo. So when I found out, I was a bit like, oh my God. I have I have like a week. I literally had like a week to finish the recording. So I ran to the studio and like finished it really last minute because I did not expect them to choose it for some reason because it was more mellow and also like it wasn't finished. So, but it is what it is. I mean, it was a good challenge to get something like this done so last minute. And uh, yeah, it was it was fun. <laughs> I 
Yeah, so I've always been around the kind of Eurovision um, thing, I guess. Uh, I had, I've been to a lot of those songwriting camps where a lot of my friends actually, you know, like uh, Albert from like Malawi or Domi from Dominic Ashkwa from Domi, we are Domi, went to. And also I've been like in a lot of camps in Switzerland as well, writing for uh, people in Eurovision. So I kind of been around it and I always felt like well, maybe I could try it one day. Um, for a while, I thought that my music is a little bit too alternative uh, and it maybe wouldn't fit the brief. But then this year I was like, I have so many songs ready. Why not try it at least? So I kind of like tried it very last minute thinking, let's see, let's try to enter, let's experience it. And maybe if I would love it, I could, you know, do it again. And yeah, I just wanted to try the whole thing. I was kind of tempted for a few years and yeah, I was like, let's do it this year. <laughs> It was, yeah. I always, um, I always loved it. I've always done it. I uh, started singing a choir from a very young age when I was like eight. I sang in it for 10 years and I always kind of made my own bands, made my own music videos really young and yeah, just kind of kept going always. It was kind of, it wasn't even a question for me. It was just a fact. <laughs> I mean, it would be obviously an honor, like, um, I would do the best I can to represent in the best way. Um, also, it would be great because uh, being an independent artist, like, I'm the only one out of all the, uh, all the other contestants that's completely independent, no record label, nothing. So, obviously, it would be a great uh, opportunity to showcase my music and stuff like that. And to go through such a big, you know, competition and uh, environment would be obviously an incredible inspiration and like um, experience for me so so yeah definitely release more music Sushi. That's a tough one, man. <laughs> like, I, I love festivals, but ah, your vision. Dogs, hundred percent. Losing control over I think lose. It toughens you up. I mean, I can go and promote myself, but I think, you know, we all know uh, if we want to vote or not. I think maybe what I kind of, as a person, what I kind of realized through this, as I said before, it's really just be you and go for whatever excites you or like risk, you know, because at the end of the day, it's all you have. and. Uh, it's better to just try anything you can and pursue kind of what you believe in and uh, then just stay silent. So be you and go for whatever you want. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this interview, even if it's through a computer screen. There's one day left to vote. The vote closes tonight, basically. So less than one day. So yeah, go vote. After you watch this video, go vote make a choice the winner is coming tomorrow thank you so much for watching i appreciate it so much you have no idea let's see what next series is going to be about thank you very much and see you next time when the winner is announced bye